10 Minute Murder contains depictions of actual crimes. What you are about to hear is real and violent in nature. Discretion is advised. This is 10 Minute Murder. This is the Brief and Bingeable True Crime Podcast, 10 Minute Murder. Welcome. I'm Joe, the host, and thanks for being here. If you're brand new to this show, thank you for checking it out today, and I hope after the episode, you will think about subscribing or following or doing whatever it is in your app that it tells you to do when you want to continuously listen to a show. And when you subscribe, you automatically get new episodes. You won't have to go searching each week for new episodes of 10 Minute Murder. They'll just kind of magically show up. Also, let me invite you to connect with 10 Minute Murder on Facebook and Instagram. Links for that are in the show notes of this episode, or just as easy, you can type it into the search bar inside Instagram and Facebook, and it'll pop right up. On those social media platforms, I post visuals that go along with some of the stories you're hearing about today. It's nothing gross or graphic, but just enough for you to put a face with the names that you're hearing about. The story today is so hard to tell. Most murder cases are difficult to learn about, but with a large majority of them, you're dealing with a coherent motive of some kind, no matter how unjustifiable it is. Serial killers kill because they enjoy it in some sick way. Other murderers kill on impulse. Some do it for money or jealousy or revenge. The killer today apparently did it just to make the father of the victims suffer. The worst part is that killer was also his wife, and the mother of the ones she set her sights on. Christy Sheets and her husband Jason had a pretty decent relationship. The couple met in a small North Alabama town when they were much younger and later moved to Houston, Texas, where they were raising their two daughters. Slowly, over time, the marriage began to crumble. Their oldest daughter was 22-year-old Taylor, Madison, 17, the youngest. Taylor graduated from college and was working as a teacher at a child care center. Madison had dreams of following in the path of her older sister and doing something involving children. In the meantime, she made a few extra dollars helping out as a babysitter for hire. Before Christy and Jason's marriage began to fall apart, the kids were loved and taken care of by both parents. She was a fantastic mother. Over time, Christy slipped into a depression, and Jason picked up the slack. Christy was dealing with some issues that made day-to-day life difficult for her to deal with, mentally. Her grandfather died in 2012, and only two months later, her own mother died. Christy spiraled out of control and attempted to take her own life. She actually attempted suicide a total of three times over the next four years, and was in and out of multiple mental health facilities. She was drinking heavily, unemployed, and seemingly constantly arguing with her daughter, Taylor, about her boyfriend, Juan. Taylor and Juan wanted to get married, and Christy wasn't having it. She didn't want it to happen. Because of that, she wouldn't even allow her to see Juan and grounded Taylor. And let me remind you that Taylor was 22 years old. Jason voiced his concern and added that you couldn't really ground an adult like that. Christy Sheets called for a family meeting. And Jason thought it was going to be to discuss that their marriage was over and the next steps for the family. Because just that day, which was his birthday, he told her that he wanted a divorce. He said, quote, this will be the last birthday you ruin. On June 24th, 2016, the family gathered for the meeting. Christy, who had no previous history of being violent during her instability, pulled out a gun and opened fire. Jason and Taylor scattered but Madison never made it out of the room. She was shot dead by her mother. Jason ran toward a neighbor's house, and Taylor ran out to the street. Her mother followed and fired on her again. Taylor Sheets later died in the hospital. While this was going on, a neighbor dialed for help. Uh, Yes, uh, we need an ambulance uh, right away. Two people believe uh, believe they're shot. Okay, stay on the line. Okay, you think they got shot, you say? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Stay on the there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lady with a gun. There's a lady there's with a, lady. a gun? Where? Yes. It's coming out of the house right now. Two okay. People shot outside. Okay. People shot outside. Okay. Where is the lady with the gun? 
coming out of he's on the street right now. Is she still shooting? Uh, no, he's not shooting, but it's the gun in, here in her hand. I ran to the back of my house. Okay, who do you know who the lady is? Uh, they're my neighbors. I don't... Okay, and the people that she shot are, are do you know them? Are like, no, are ma'am. Her? Okay. Are you, with the, are you with the patients right now? No, because the lady is. Okay. With the gun what came out. Wearing? I had to run. Describe her for me. What is she wearing? I'm sorry. Okay. What I had she... to run to the back. Okay, I understand. Uh, what is she? Lim- Can you describe Lim- her for me? What is she? White, black, Hispanic, or Asian? It's, uh, no, she's a uh, Caucasian. Okay. Go back there. Uh, okay. What is she wearing? She's wearing a dress. What color dress? Yeah, uh, let me let me try to pick to the window. Sorry. Okay. Okay. No problem. Don't put yourself in danger though. But do you remember what co- what color her dress was? She's wearing a uh, uh, purple dress. Purple dress. Yes. Where are the patients? They're, the, they're in the street. They're in the middle of the street. They're, they're, it's two people laying in the street? Two people, two ladies laying in the street. Two females? Okay. Yeah, two females. And there's a guy trying to help them. But the okay. lady is on, top, on the top of one of them with a the gun on her hand. Okay, but the the, sub, the the suspect is on top of one of the females on the street? Yeah, she's just she's, she's on the street, just standing up. She's standing over at one of the patients with the gun? Yes, yes. It looks like both of them are alive. They're both alive, but... Okay. You know, she tried to shot again. She's trying to shoot again on the top of her, but okay. apparently she don't have no more... Apparently she don't have any more bullets. Okay, yeah, I, I do too, sir. Just stay on the line. And let me know what you see. But don't... Okay. I don't she's going, she's going inside. She's going inside the house now. Uh, hopefully it's not getting any more bullets because she looks like she's going to look for more bullets. Okay. All right, stay on the line. And there's a, I don't know where the guy went, but apparently she's, she's ye- yelling at her. And is the male she's coming out, she's, she's, she's coming back again. She's coming back again. With a, apparently she has bullets now on her. On her. Okay. Stay, stay on the line. Oh, she shot her again. She shot her she again. She shot her again? Yes. From the back. She's trying to run. She shot, she shot another, the female again that was. Yes. That was laying down on the floor. Okay. Shut off on the back. Okay. Sir, stay stay. The floor, yeah. yeah, make sure your family is, is secure. Don't 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 let yes. anyone see you looking out the window, okay? Can can anyone see you? <laughs> I don't see them anymore. But okay. there's the bullets. I can I can hear bullets. And she's she's laying down on the floor now. The female that was shooting is laying down? Yes. Did she shoot herself? I don't know. I don't know. I I just see her down on the floor now, but I don't I don't know what happened because I had to run to uh, take okay. my son to safety. Okay. Is she I, don't, moving? I don't see. I don't. She's moving. Yes. Okay. You know, it doesn't look like she's moving anymore. Okay. Okay, okay. sir. I'm so sorry you're saying this, okay. but just stay on the line. Okay. Okay. Por alguien está bien ya ya se disparó sola. Okay, so do you happen to know the names of these people? Do you know your neighbors? Uh, no, I don't know their number names or anything. They're on the way. Just let me know what you see. If you, if you see anything change, let me know. We have multiple deputies on the way, okay? Okay, uh, she's laying down on, on the floor is still. She, is she still not moving? She's still not moving. Okay. Okay, uh, the deputies are arrived already. Okay. Jason, at one point, can be heard in the background of the call, pleading with Christy to stop what she was doing. She tried to reload her gun and shoot Jason, but officers arrived. Originally, she said that she wanted Jason to be left alive when she killed their daughters to make him suffer. The officer on scene ordered Christy to drop the gun. She ignored the order and didn't drop it. With one shot fired from police, it hit Christy Sheets and killed her immediately. Due to his emotional state, Jason had to be hospitalized for a time, getting help for having just watched his entire family be killed. That's today's 10-minute murder, the brief and bingeable true crime podcast. Thanks for listening today. And if you have a story you'd like for me to possibly cover, you can email it to me, 10minutemurder at gmail.com. No more stories like today, though. 
That was so incredibly sad to research and talk about and to hear the 911 call. And my heart hurts for that family and what they must have gone through and are still going through, I'm sure. Okay. You can easily connect with this podcast on social media. Just click the link in the show notes of this episode or even easier, just type 10 Minute Murder into Facebook or Instagram. Before you go, subscribe wherever you're listening right now and you will never miss another episode. If you have friends that are into brief true crime stories, let them know about 10 Minute Murder. Thanks for listening. Have a good night.